clicked on that you have to select on the uh range line this one so once you select on this you can see what happened you see so this hello and welcome to this presentation you will learn how to automatically detect reinforced concrete slab with these two provision open using the fastest tool in autocad if you're the first time you have come across our channel so freezing consider subscribing to stay connected with us let us get started the first thing is to create a line join together to form the Reinforce concrete slab area also create a line join together to also form the opening or hole okay the same thing applicable here after which we navigate to the card ROC tab right here okay so this is the plugin we'll be using to automatically detail this reinforced concrete slab so we go straight away to this tool called area detailer so you just click on it once and then you have to select on the slab line so in the info box do you want to select any holes you type yes on the keyboard and then you enter now you have to enter again to select the holes or opening this is the first one i've selected and then select the second one after which enter on the keyboard so once you enter you have to also Select two point to form the range. So for the vertical reinforcement, we need to select two point along horizontal axis. So this is the first point, all the way second point. Okay. So this will bring up the Edit Detailer property window. Over here we have the bar shapes. In this provision, there are various bar shapes. All right. For the sake of this presentation, we go to the bar shape zero zero. Okay. And then for the multiplier, it's going to be one the grade is going to be edge there are other options but we go by edge okay for the bar diameter we are going by 12 mm for the prefix is going to be at and then the spacing of the bar is going to be 200 millimeters and then the note is center to center bottom okay so this are uh, the uh this is the the you know like the cover provided okay just click on the ok option and this will actually pop up a window so in this window we are going to make provision for the name of uh, the member we are actually detailing so this is a slab all right we are good just click on the ok option and this will automatically detailed this slab for the vertical reinforcement just like this so we are done with the vertical reinforcement we want to detail the horizontal reinforcement so we proceed to the area detailer to click on it zoom so closely click on the slab line and then you type yes option so we can select the holes provided enter again zoom closely to select the first hole or opening select the second one from here after which enter again on the keyboard so now we have to specify the range so we are detailing the horizontal reinforcement now so the range is going to be vertical i picked it from this point all the way i pick this end and then I have the error detailer window. I proceed the grade, the size of reinforcement this time around. I use 10 mm diameter, and then the prefix is at. So this person is going to be 150, and it is center to center bottom reinforcement. Click on the OK options, and then this will automatically detailed the horizontal reinforcement successfully as you can see all right so you can see how we have automated the reinforced concrete slab detailing successfully using autocad and card ROC. and then if you want to show the range of this reinforcement actually you can use this option so this is another powerful to show all bar in range okay so once you picked on that you have to select on the 
uh, range line, this one. So once you select on this, you can see what happened. You see. So this have actually showed the numbers of bars within that range successfully. Okay. So the same thing is applicable to all of this. If you just use the two, you can be able to create the numbers of bar within the range that has been calculated automatically using AutoCAD and this plugin called Scadarusi successfully. Okay, now if you want to create a bar bending schedule for the detail that you have done, you have to just have, uh, you just have to come to this provision, modify options, and then use this option of assign bar to member. So just like that. So this is the member, right? This is slab. We have already assigned this, okay? But should in case you have not assigned this, you have to use this option. But I use pick options and then I have to select all of this. And then right click and click on apply to assign bars to member all right click on closed option okay now proceed to this view schedule option so once you click on that that will pop up actually so yeah is it so from what i have here i will navigate to the format schedule options and i close this window so this will pop up this uh, format schedule window i navigate to this provision right here Click and then use every shape option. Click on OK. And that will show us the shape of the reinforcement successfully. Click on the close option. We are done. Now proceed and pick on this option right here. Place schedule on drawing. And then this will automatically open this window, which we need to select the sheet number. OK. And then we see the schedule generated successfully just like this with the reinforcement just like this as you can see so this is the schedule for this particular uh reinforced concrete slab detailing we have just done and then you can see the bar shape right there successfully okay so this is how to use Cardarusi very smart to automate a force concrete slab successfully. I hope you learned one or two things in this video. Consider subscribing, like, and stay connected till we see in the next presentations. You can check the description of this video and then you have access to this tool called Cardarusi. And also, our detailers and templates, you can as well have access to them to get them. See you in the next presentation. Have a great day and bye for now.